Yes, we're back with another upcycle or thrift flip or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Okay, so I bought this address at the thrift store recently. I don't remember what I paid for it. Um, five or six dollars, I think, probably not more than that. And I really like the fabric and the color. The cut's okay, but I probably wouldn't wear it much. But what if we turned it into a pair of pants? So you know, y'all know by now, if you've been following my social media, my vlog, that I like the wide leg pants. I, in fact, I drafted my own pattern for it. I love them so much. And <clears throat> While the bottom of this dress isn't exactly wide enough to do what I usually do, I think it might work still. And what if we left the buttons, there's buttons down the front. Let me put the bone broth down, hold on. Do you see? There's buttons. Okay, so what if we left the buttons? You know, I don't like to not use what's already there. I don't want to have to repeat myself. I'll use the hem. What if we had the buttons run down the outside edge of one leg, so most of the buttons shut except for one or two at the waistband? And still put elastic in the waistband, but I think that might work. Let's get started. Before we take the dress off the dress board, I have this pant pattern I made. So I took some, a pants pattern that I had that fits me, and I put the two legs outside edge to outside edge, front and back. And then I added some width in between and flared it at the bottom to make a wide flared leg pants that when I have them on, they kind of look like a skirt. So we're going to use this pattern now. I said the skirt's not big enough to do the fold, so we'll fold it in the middle and make it smaller. And then we'll go from there. So, yeah. First, I've got to get it off of there. laid out the pants pattern like this. Normally I would put the front seam on the side over here, but I said we want to save the buttons. We're going to use them to get into the pants. So I've put the buttons down the center of one leg. We've got front crotch, back crotch. So we will cut along here, down here, Maybe. We might leave that, actually, that seam. We might only need to cut, the we'll see. Um, and then across the waistline. And then down here.
Okay, so right sides together, we're going to sew down this inside seam of the leg. Oops. Of the leg. This is on both legs. All right, we'll go that way. I'm going to use the serger because I have one, but if you don't have a serger, then just sew a regular seam and then after you get it, the seam sewn and attached, then do a zigzag to finish the edge. So I have a serger, so I'm going to use it. Okay, now we're going to turn one pant leg right side out and at the center crotch seam we're going to put it inside the other pant leg so you have right sides together and we'll sew all the way around the crotch seam on the serger. Are they cute? We have the buttons down one side, which again, we're gonna sew mostly closed. We're gonna leave like maybe one or two, maybe. But in the meantime, I'm gonna serge the top of this. That'll help prevent fraying. Then we'll work on what we're gonna do about the closure and sew down about an inch of this to put some elastic in. Does that work? All right. So now two things. First, I have to go off camera and try it on. I'm gonna pin this side closed and see if I can get it on the way it is without leaving an opening on the side. I'm still, of course, gonna leave the buttons. I'll just sew the whole thing closed. And then we will sew about an inch down to make a casing for some elastic and sew the buttons closed. And then we're done. It's that easy. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, it fits, but I do think that if I leave it with just the button, there's going to be some when I move, which is not good. So I do think I'm going to put a zipper in right about there. And the good news is I might not need elastic. I think I'll put a little bit in anyways, but yeah zipper if you don't know how to install a zipper i bet you there's a youtube video out there somewhere for doing it i'm not going to be super careful about hiding said zipper but i'm going to try to do it in a way that i can put in the zipper and then and then button this buttonhole that's probably a lot to ask but we're going to give it a shot i'll be back I know we're crooked, but the zipper is in and the buttons are sewn shut. So let me try them on again. Fit, how far back do I need to go? So they do fit. I'm going to put some elastic around the waist and a little hook and eye at the top. So let me do that and I'll be back. Okay, I got back dressed. Um, so I don't think we need to put a ton of elastic in here and make it super tight. I mean, they fit pretty good around the hips, so, um, but you can either fold over a bit of material that's a little bit wider than your elastic and thread it through the two open ends. In this case, this end will be open and the other end, then sew it down there. Or you could sew the elastic to the material, stretching it while you go and then fold it over and sewn it down again. I, I tend to be the one to make the casing, so I think we're gonna do that and I'll be right back. So here's the elastic. You could use a safety pin, but I have this long needle thing. We've made our little casing, so I'm gonna just put it in here, maybe. 
There we go. And feed it all the way through. just like that. Then we're going to carefully feed it through so we don't have all this hanging out and then sew down the ends. Let's see. Oh, dang it. Well, that might work, but anyway, you don't want to pull it too far like I just did. I'll be back. Tweezers, I got it. So pull it so it's almost all the way out and then stick a pin so you don't have that happen again. And do the other side. Try to make sure your elastic is flat and not twisted or rolled inside the waistband. Then I'm going to pin it again on the other side. And then I'm going to try it on before I sew anything down. Always a good idea to try it on before you finish. Okay, I got the hook and eye sewn on. Oops. I'm going to put some fray check on the knots. A little bit of sewing glue just to help prevent the knots from coming undone. And give the thread a little extra strength. And now, pants are done. Yay, I really like them. So, but now, is there enough to do anything else with what's left? I don't know, let me go look. Maybe if I have some trim or something to add to the bottom. Let me see what I have. I made a little bit of trim out of a little bit of scraps that's left. I decided to go with a purple fabric. I had that instead of a blue, because there's a little bit of purple in the tie-dye fabric. I think I like, if I'm gonna add this ruffle, I think I like it up here versus down there. And I also think I'm gonna leave these bottom edges raw. So I think I'm gonna sew a little tiny, very close seam to the edge of the purple at the bottom and then just let it unravel. And the trim is going to unravel too because the trim isn't all raw. Okay, let's get it sewn on. Okay, so I added the purple to the bottom and I added the trim that I made. And then a little row of tiny stitches so that when I wash it, it'll unravel some more. And I'll have some long ones to trim, but that's okay. I also left the ties on the back. We're going to try it on so y'all can see. So hang on. All righty. What do you, oops, what do you think? I think it's cute and comfortable and pants. I like pants, pants are cool. And I like the, I like the purple. So it wasn't complicated and it maybe wasn't what you would have chosen to do with that dress, but it's fun nonetheless. I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do save some money, get some new clothes, maybe just refresh something you have in your closet and make it something that you enjoy more wearing because life is too short. All right, that's it for today. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Um, I will include one or two of my favorite um, upcycling and thrift tulip channels uh, for clothing. And there's just probably... I can think of maybe one sewing channel, instructional sewing channel, in case you don't sew at all. Um, none of what I did today was 
super difficult. The most challenging thing is probably the zipper. But if you got a dress that was a little bit bigger, you probably could just forego that whole business. Anyway, all right. If you want to see more of this, let me know. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, check out the video description for relevant content. Ways to the support the channel. I would really appreciate your support. I kind of need a new video camera. So I do have a Patreon. Think about it. All right, that's it. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.